Hello everyone, the campaign for the elections of the BDA, the BDE and the Association Sportive is raging on. Election day is fast approaching, it's going to be next Wednesday. Today we have the immense pleasure to interview Louis and Stéphane, who are respectively Vice President and President of the list in Beavers We Trust. They will have the opportunity to add precisions to the campaign proposition. They will also talk to us about their respective personalities, their respective role in the BDE if they are elected. This interview is brought to you by the Sundial. Hello Stefan, hello Louis. So you are the candidate for presidency and vice presidency of BD in the list uh, in Beaver We Trust. So can you tell us a little bit how is your campaign going so far? What is the state of your finances? Our, camp our campaign is going uh, pretty well so far. Uh, we've been doing uh, many events, the events that we have planned and hopefully the campus enjoys them as much as we are. Okay, so why at the very beginning did you decide to run for, well, for a BDE election? Well, first of all, um, as ex-BDE members, the five of us um, obviously wanted to run again uh, because it's something which we truly enjoyed. Um, this experience was enriching for all of us and therefore we wanted to create our own list and according to each and every one of our strengths, um, of our skills, uh, we decided to, 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 to run for these positions and added other people such as Louis, uh, Maxime, uh, Diana and on our list um, in order to reinforce uh, our strengths. Me, me personally, it's uh, slightly different because I was not a BDE member. Um, I come from a small school, an American high school, in which campus spirit is something that's super important and you live, breathe, dream of your school. And when I came here, I was a little bit disappointed and I heard that last year it was something that was extremely important to the campus. And, and this year I didn't find it as present as I wished. And I felt that perhaps by joining and being implicated in the, in the BDE, there was something to be done for campus spirit and and the passion of this school, so that's one of my big goals. Okay, so can you explain us a little bit what you are going to achieve for the former BDE and from the work that has been accomplished this year and what would you like to change or to improve? Well, what is very important to understand is that we are aware that the other list believes strongly in change. And although we acknowledge the fact that change is important, what we want to do is to keep the tradition of last year's BDE because by changing too much, we would feel like we would be discrediting their work. What we want to do is improve um, what they did this year. We want to create similar events, um, such as Yellowween, Aperos, Bar Crawls, so that we keep a certain tradition on our campus, um, which is very young still. Okay, so in, your, in the list of your promises, you pledge to actually continue to increase the rate of Aperos, yet compared to last year, they have really hardly been a success, mm -hmm. they have not been a great success at all. Um, how would you change this uh, and how would you make Haparos really a moment of uh, conviviality and uh, sharing on campus? So, so one of the first things is we really want to work with the BDA to get live music on almost every uh, event. So either DJing or um, the ba a band or um, so some of, of BDA related events to make it a bit more artistic. Um, secondly, at the beginning of the year, we, or at the beginning and the end of the year, we'd like to make these aperos outside because it's, um, I think there's a problem with the spacing in, in the student lounge, um, which especially considering the growth next year is going to be complicated. Um, and we hope that these two things combined and perhaps more time and reflection on this concept of aperos, which can't just be this free food for 20 minutes after classes. It has to really be thought through and organized in a better manner. Will lead to more time spent together, convivial, and hopefully lead to a more passionate campus. And to, to, to continue on that idea, since these aperos, as day life assistant of the BDE, were my job, and I find it very important to, to, to continue these aperos because we see them as truly something um, in which we can show our campus spirit since everyone is invited and everyone can come just talk, even if it's just for a half an hour, an hour, but as Louis said, it can't just be uh, people coming, taking food, and going back to class. Okay. In your list of promises, I think you, you pledged to set up a radio station on campus, yeah. as well as filming uh, all the events organized by the BDE. 
So, but this does not appear on your uh, provisional budget. How would you concretely finance this project, especially as far as the student radio is concerned? It's an expensive project. And who would be responsible for filming all these events of uh, the DD? Um, well, first of all, the, the idea of the radio, as, as we see it, will not cost much uh, insofar as we would set up this radio on the, on the website Radionomie, um, which allows us to create a, 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 a radio for free on campus, um, in, on which we could add free podcasts um, uh, with their music, which they... For 12 months. For 12, for 12 months. So, so for, for a year. For this year. For this year. Then there would be a small inscription fee the following year. But however, for a 12-month period, this radio would be free. There would be an initial charge for a microphone if we could not That's get one from the DDA. Um, but other than that, there is no charge. And then after, the, the whole video filming idea is something that was brought up by Conrad, who has the material. And that's why he was given the role of head of marketing, because he felt like this whole uh, notion of, of filming and and promoting our campus through uh, through images and videos was something that he knows how to do through his experience. He's he's done lots of photography and and work with vi with video and editing, and so he would be in charge of that uh, on a completely on his own. If elected, um, will you make a more frequent use of your website, so the website you set up uh, while during your campaign, and give up a little bit on Facebook? Because that's true that Facebook today is overwhelmingly used by the BDE. And our second question will be, uh, who, who would be in charge of, well, basically uh, managing the website on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, once again, this is um, the main reason why we created this post of Director of Marketing. Conrad would be the one in charge of uh, updating the website, of updating the Facebook page, and doing the necessary for neither one to be overwhelming for the campus, and for everyone to get the, the necessary um, elements, events that we would be planning um, through these social medias. And, and to compliment uh, Conrad, who has the, the technical skills, we have our head of communication, uh, who's bilingual, Maxime, and who would be in charge of, of working on the content of the website and the communication, because we believe that that's one of our biggest promises. There needs to be better communication. There needs to be more representation of the campus's desires and wishes, and this is one of our most important promises. My question is going to be more on campus spirit. Some believe that many first years, the campus spirit, some believe that the campus spirit is weakened because uh, many first years are not very involved in campus spirit, are not very motivated. Do you have this impression? And if yes, how would you uh, remedy change that problem? So yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. I was, so I was one very, of our, yeah. Uh, one of our main concerns during our, during our campaign is this campus spirit, which we don't see that uh, much. I was very, I was very, I was very worried about it. As I said, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm here right now. Um, concretely, I think that one of the issues is perhaps we've catered too much our our uh, campus spirit events towards nightlife, which loses a lot of the of the of uh, the campus. Um, another issue is I think we didn't at the beginning focus enough on on the Godfather Godson relationship. There's a, there's a lot that can be worked on there. And thirdly, I think that right from the beginning, there should be this notion of the meet and greet towards the end of the year, and that should be worked on with the IS and the and the BDA to show through throughout the year that there is that we are a, a, a school and that we have teams and that, that it's important and that there is this this whole campus spirit that has that has to come up and that's at the beginning of the year that's an integration um, and that's through communication mainly. I don't think it's it's an particularly organization because the video did a lot this year. I think it's just the way it's communicated and it's there's very little to that, that needs to happen for cohesion to happen. It's it's just in the first couple of weeks. This is why we also during integration um, want to leave Reims because we feel that one of the problems this year is that well problems is that we were in Reims and that we didn't feel this cohesion with everybody surrounding us. Meaning that we think that by going away from Reims by going camping, um, by having many activities, um, people could get to know each other better and right from the start feel this cohesion and get this campus spirit. Okay, so you are both running for presidency and vice presidency of, uh, of the BDE. How do you perceive concretely your respective roles, complementarity? In, uh, what we're First of all, this is very important, is that we see this as a complementary relationship. We both have flaws. Um, they're both complemented by the other skills. Um, 
I see myself as someone who has this intrinsic value in his personality, which is leadership. Um, I like to be the one who, who decides, who makes the decisions, um, of course, in cooperation with the, other, with the other members of the list. And I think this is what's really important in my role, um, which would be more day-to-day, -day, um, which would be more um, of an organizational nature because Louis, I don't think, um, <laughs> is gonna contradict me when I say that he's not the most organized person. And this is why we are uh, perfectly complimentary. And, uh, and uh, it, really is, it really is a great working relationship because I can't make a decision to save my life. And, and I, what I enjoy is just to stay here, talk, throw out ideas, be creative, um, be, try and have new initiatives, um, you know, basically just talk. <laughs> and, uh, and so and when you just talk at some point, you need someone to kick in and say, well, shut up, you know. Uh, and and this, is, this is what Steph really does, and he, uh, together it's, it's great, I and mean, we work great together. But even apart from this president-vice president relationship, all the positions uh, in our group are positions um, where people put their skills to, to better use. Um, one question that I've had many times is, why is Catherine not president or vice president? We're aware that you started this list with her. And what I answer to this is that we don't see our relationship as having a hierarchy, meaning that it's not because she started the list that she should either be president or vice president. Catherine is someone who's very organized. She's the one who um, drafted our documents for the BDE um, when, we, when we presented ourselves as a list. And her skills would be put to great use and perfect use as secretary. Okay, so next year, the campus is going to grow again, to reach almost, I think, 300 people. How is, it, how is this going to affect your thinking and uh, how is it going to impact your actions during uh, next year? So, first of all, I think it's something that as a p potential BD list, we're a little worried about um, because it is a big commitment, especially considering the amount of promises we've made. And when we promise, we promise to deliver. And so we've, we've due to, partly due to the campaign, partly due to our ambition, we have a lot of promises. Um, and so this is, this is a very legitimate question. The two points that I'd like to point to are first, we intend to go even further than what this year's BD has done in terms of financial uh, outlook, trying to really look, go as, in every direction possible, starting this summer, if we get uh, elected, to, to, uh, to find new sponsorships, to find new ways of income, because we'll, need, we'll definitely need financing. Um, the second, is much better communication. Um, we need to be more effective in our communication um, and we have to also realize that though we're promising lots of new events, um, every, every month we're gonna have a, a day life event, for example, we know that not the whole campus will be able to attend. And so it will be, so there will be select, you know, first come, first serve. Um, and we will try to organize a, only a few really campus-wide events but they will be organized to an extent and to with a precision that will be so, hopefully so good, that it will uh, make up for the lack of, of uh, the quantity of whole ca entire campus events because it's not possible. Obviously, we would like to organize events for the entire campus, but I mean, as it's growing, it's it, it becomes less and less possible for everyone to, to attend. Okay, so here we have actually reached the end of our interview for, and for our last question. So the campaign is drawing to a close. Uh, election is uh, next Wednesday. Um, what would you like your fellow Beavers to remember on D-Day when casting their votes? Maybe a little word, a word from uh, both of you. What we want is for the electors to realize that both our lists are very different um, in our promises, uh, in the way we would act as a BDE. And I can't say that our list is better than the other because it's a question of perception. It's, it's a question of what you want. Taste. Of what, yeah, of taste, of what, what the campus really wants. And so the only thing I can say is choose according to what you really feel and may the best man win if it's the other list, then congratulations to them. And then I'd like to maybe a personal message. I'd say uh, even if we don't win, don't forget this mini creep, don't forget we're at campus, uh, and don't forget the school passion and the school spirit because it's really important to us and it's really important to me. So. And even if we're not elected, we will be here next we, year. And we will and be there we, to support. And we will be there to support and we will be there to, to encourage this campus spirit. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.